way beyond this year yeah. before. Has the way this season gone for you or as a team changed that thought at all? Not really. Not not for the negative, no. Not really. So you still want to play in 2025? I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Aaron Rodgers wanting to play in 2025. First, the Jets have to want him as we return to this Thursday edition of PFT Live presented by Accenture. I don't know if the Jets are going to want him back next year. They're going to have a new coach. New coach might not want Aaron Rodgers around. Is the juice worth the squeeze? The delicate genius has basically taken over. I don't think a new coach is going to want that because he's not playing well enough to justify it. They got to want him. $35 million compensation package, non-guaranteed. They got some decisions to make about Aaron Rodgers, but they might not want him. And if they don't want him, then the question becomes, who does? Who does? I saw this too. Charles Robinson from Yahoo pointed out that when Devontae Adams was traded to the Jets, he wanted an assurance that Rodgers would be there in 2025. Hey, Devontae, you got to look at your contract. You're due to make $35.6 million next year. You're not going to be there in 2025 unless you do a new deal. So I don't think either guy is going to be there next year based on how things have gone. And given the reality, there will be a new head coach and there might be a new general manager. And Christopher Johnson, not Woody Johnson, might be in charge of the team at some point in the offseason because Woody Johnson might be part of the new administration. Now, I want to play for you because we, we challenged – the New York media, the rough and tumble New York media, to ask Aaron Rodgers about what he said on Pat McAfee's show. We played yesterday the comments about sticking to the plan and not throwing guys out prematurely, not being impatient, and how ownership is so critical that ownership shouldn't listen to social media. Ownership shouldn't listen to people in the media. Ownership should stay the course. And it was set up beautifully for a question to be posed to Aaron Rodgers about this simple Dichotomy. Did ownership in New York not stick to the plan or did ownership think correctly there was some major issue that necessitated the premature firing of Robert Sala? Here's what Aaron Rodgers had to say yesterday. I just wanted to follow up on something from McAfee. I think they asked you about Chicago and you were talking about ownership. Kind of, Some owners have to have patience and sort of say this is the plan. We're sticking to it. Yeah. You play for a team where they fired the coach after five games. I mean, do you think that this place did not have the patience and should have stuck to the plan? I was really referring to the fact that young quarterbacks uh, in general are kind of plug and play right away. And there's less guys like myself and Jordan Love and Pat set for a season. Um, Various guys have set one, two, three seasons. Um, And you just kind of trusted that process to work. It's a different game now. And everything is so snap judgment. Um, I think there is something to... In the beginning of whatever whatever decisions you make, saying this is what we're doing for this long, and we're going to trust this process because we have the right guys in place. Um, I think there's something to that, but I'm also the old guy, you know, still talking about the way things used to be. So you really weren't talking about coaching changes as much as quarterbacks. I was talking about quarterbacks and, and how they're kind of plug and play right away, and there's snap decisions. You know, Bryce Young got benched, uh, Anthony got benched, different guys got benched early, and it's tough on the confidence of those guys. Okay, we all have a purpose in this broader NFL media ecosystem. Mine over the past 23 years has evolved into this. I call bullshit when I see it. And in that case, I see it, I smell it, and somebody stepped in it. Because he wasn't talking about young quarterbacks when he said what he said. It started as a dissertation about how you should handle young quarterbacks, but it definitely and unmistakably became commentary on the lack of patience from owners about everyone not young quarterbacks so don't don't and i i can't fault the media for not getting into at a press conference setting an argument with aaron Rodgers over what he actually said he did not say what he said in the context of young quarterbacks he was talking broadly and generally and he shed light unwittingly on the core question about what happened five weeks and two days ago in new york Was this an instance when Robert Sala was fired of Woody Johnson acting rashly and impatiently, or was there some deeper problem that needed to be rectified and could only be rectified by firing the coach? Rodgers set it up on Tuesday. He set up that question. They tried. They tried. Got to give him credit for trying. But Rodgers, as I texted someone yesterday, he is as slippery as buttered jello when he's put in a setting like that, and he knows how to talk his way out. 
of any mess. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.